what is going on everybody we're jumping into another post commentary gameplay here for you guys you guys said you want to gameplays in the comment section of my uh last madden video so that's what we're going to go ahead and do if you didn't check the auction vlog video check it we uploaded it yesterday we got new additions to the team as you see we got the 90 overall odell replacing the antonio brown pretty much the same receiving stats just um like plus five plus six speed which as you're going to see in this video makes a huge huge difference we also got the maxed out maxed out maxed out most of your khalil mac um as the time i'm recording this video i've played probably and as we have the maxed out john randall that we added to the team as well and we have a finally the maxed out ryan shazier um all that's in the auction block video if you guys go back and check yesterday's video and check them out but as of the time of this gameplay um i probably played six to seven um games with this new team and those three cards alone are just making huge impacts as you see my opponent's three he's got the 96 shazier the 95 ray lewis which i don't know why he goes captain ray lewis and also has shazier that's none of my business he starts out with the ball for his first and ten he has that franco harris and for a fullback, that man was actually a problem for me the entire game. As you see right here, we're chasing him down. We forced a lot of incomplete passes. It's third and seven right here. We're trying to get off the field. You see him throw that underneath drag, and he kept going to that all game. And I kept getting closer and closer and closer to actually jumping it and picking it. It's fourth and two right here. He doesn't get the ball out, and Khalil Mack making an instant impact. We get the turnover on downs. As the title of this video shows, the most annoying blitz is the game as we max protect everybody and hit Tyree Kill on a crosser. In my opinion, the most annoying blitz in the game is mid blitz. You guys can voice your opinions in the comment section. I know a lot of people say it's a nickel 335 odd, but I feel like nickel 335 odd, it can be picked up. It's very glitchy. Of course, you'll still pick it up and they'll still get block sheds or random A gaps will come through or the running back won't respond. Um, but you can combat it as Shazier breaks the ball loose right there. You can play action, you can kind of ID the DT. And you can block mid blitz as well, but mid blitz is so annoying. Like you can't step up. You have to, have to leave a tight end and a running back in. At least with nickel three three five odd, you could like ID and leave a running back in, and he'll come across and pick up. Or you can step up and the contain won't come. There's just a lot of things like it. It's fluky. Nickel three three five odd is fluky on defense, but it's also fluky sometimes when it comes in. Like it will, it won't. It, it's kind of unless you want to send like six or seven mid blitz when you send seven is just the absolute worst especially if you're playing against a team that has really good dbs and they come up and man press on you and you don't have top of the line receivers that can break the press as he throws an incomplete an incomplete pass there in second and ten uh setting up a fourth and ten right here we're trying to get off the field we're trying to get off the field we're nickel three three five odd and lt screams at that man he sheds us off but khalil mack probably the best two Ooh, oh actually i don't know since i have that maxed out shazier oof, i don't know who's better him or lt i think the shazier is, is right here i know he's sending it and i leave a running back in and we get double edge again here he turbo blitzes up the a gap sends eight I had a wide open Tyree kill for a touchdown. If you go back and watch it on the left side, Tyree kill was wide open. I was getting ready to throw it and he saw that I blocked the running back. So he takes the guy that's manned up on the running back turbos through the a gap and is on my neck. And it's so annoying. I mean, you guys have played mid mid blitz before. I'm sure I use it when I do my solo battles because it messes with the computer so much that they can't even like respond. They don't know who to throw to It's LT makes a great hit right there but the fumble goes out of bounds um it's just really annoying like you have to and you have to be like so patient with it because what happens is with most blitzes people it, but it screams so quick and the thing with mid blitzes it's 10 times faster than 335 odd is right here i didn't think he was actually going to run it on third and four he rips off a huge run 335 odd is going to loop it's going to come off the edge you can kind of see it mid blitz just screams off both edges is Deion Sanders doesn't intercept that ball. The screens off both edges. Up the, it's just a pain. And if someone's able to like stop the run out of it too, and they have good users on that guy that uses the running back, it becomes a problem. Is right here. I don't really know how LT didn't take that man's head off, and now he didn't fumble and almost stumbles into the end zone. It's right here that cross route. I have to get on it. That's got to be an easy interception, and I wasn't on it, so that's on me. So. This game shouldn't even be close because I feel like he hasn't really done anything on offense. He ripped off a big run and caught me slipping there on my users. 
Um, but besides that, he hasn't made he hasn't like rattled our brain with crazy route combos or done anything. As right here, he doesn't send it, so I'm able to get time and hit Randy Moss, who we actually rarely ever throw the ball to. I need to get Randy Moss more involved for how expensive he is. So right here, you see he's getting ready to send it. I max protect everybody. This time, I drag Odell instead of putting him on a hitch so he can be right there in my face, and we're able to take it all the way. Something Antonio Brown would not have been able to do. Antonio Brown wouldn't have taken that all the way. He definitely would have got hawked down. He would have got caught. Luckily, we're able to uh, stop that man and go up 14-7. We're approaching halftime. He, who gets ball at half? I think I get ball at halftime. So as you see here, nothing really happened before half. He got a solid kick return and ran into field goal range and took three. So going into half, it is 14-10. We get ball first. Again, I called the same exact play I scored a touchdown on, but this time I reverse it. Um, I'm not able to take it all the way, but we're able to pick up a first down. I'm trying to motion guys over, you know, pick it up and all that stuff right here. I hate when that happens. You know when guys accidentally blitz, they'll take their user and try to run up the A gap or do something crazy and they get stuck. So what's the first thing you do when you get stuck? You try to disengage from the linebacker and sprint backwards. And he just happened to disengage from the linebacker, ex from the line exactly at the time I threw it, which was actually ridiculous i can't believe he actually got off the block and was able to make that pick so i'm upset and i'm sending six every time from here on out miles jack screams at his neck sack second down miles jack screams at his neck forces an incomplete pass third down miles jack screams off the edge sack it is now fourth and 20 fourth and 30 this time i backed off i only sent five and it was almost a mistake on my part because i can't believe madden almost had the audacity to let that man catch that ball so we have the ball in field goal range. We're up four, and he stuffs us in the backfield. We're approaching the fourth quarter right here, second and 13. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I chuck it up deep. <sighs> Luckily, that's actually the like first or second time I've ever seen that called. We get a pass interference call that goes our way. So first and goal, the very next play, we're actually able to get it in the end zone with Ricky Williams. So we're up 21-10. We're facing this mid-blitzer who's sending eight. 10, 11 at our neck every rip. <laughs> we're trying to pick it up as best of our abilities. We're up by 11 and we're in the fourth quarter. If I get one stop, the game is over. I don't want to have to go back on offense. I want to end it here on defense. So that's a plan right here. The same thing happens to me. I got stuck trying to backpedal. So I sprint backwards and we're able to intercept the ball on the very first offensive play he has in the fourth quarter. And you can tell by what's happening and the time left in the video. My man says, you know what? I've had enough. I lost. And he ends up dipping out of the game. Whew. It was a sweaty one for sure. I think I feel a lot sweatier than it should be. But as I was trying to say in the beginning of the game, I've had about six or seven games that I've played with these cards. All of them are making instant impacts. That John Randall is a machine. He's an actual machine. And with that situational pass rusher, he comes up huge. As you see our loss right there, that loss we had, the guy actually was ranked like 60 in the top 100. So I don't feel too bad about losing by six to the top 100. Khalil Mack, honestly, I think it's a bait between Khalil Mack, Lawrence Taylor, and Maxed Out Shazier is the best cards in the game. If you have the funds to get the Khalil Mack, get him immediately. Put out of your way on him and watch the man eat. He's a machine. And I see why everybody has that Maxed Out Shazier. He's a monster. <laughs> Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Links are down below. Like, share, favorite, subscribe for more Madden gameplay, guys. And as always, deuces.